NAACP has um, come out against charter schools before this, but this is the most, I guess this is the most, um, uh, the, 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 position, uh, the position you've taken um, in, in July has been the most outspoken against charter schools. And, you know, there, you've been criticized for this. Um, you know, folks like the uh, education secretary have said charter schools, they, they promote choice. And it gives uh, parents, uh, especially black parents, low-income parents, a voice in how their, in, in their, in their, their child's uh, future. Um, talk about why the NAAC passed this resolution. And um, let's start by uh, start going through some of the, the criticisms. Sure, great. So I think it's important first to say that we know that the NAACP has been the vanguard of civil rights for African Americans in the United States for more than 100 years. This isn't, like you said, the first thing that the NAACP has said on charter schools over the years. Uh, in 2010, the uh, NAACP first said that charter schools should not be our main focal point for education reform and that we should really be focusing on properly resourcing urban public schools that serve African American students. Uh, the second uh, thing that you saw in this evolution for the NAACP was in 2014, the uh, NAACP passed a resolution that was approved by the National Board that said that essentially charter schools were a part of the broader private control and privatization movement. And then finally, uh, just this year, more than 2,200 African Americans from across the United States, the delegates at the National Convention voted on this and said that we need to take stock. We need to look around, we need to take stock with charter schools, and we need a moratorium. I think that that's a very important step because what charter schools originally said was is that for more freedom and uh, they would have more accountability. But what we've actually seen is Charter schools have gotten more freedom and less accountability. So I think it's a very reasonable step for us to take stock on what's happening with charter schools. 